that is the next project. The camping trailer or whatever we want to call that. Uh, I was maybe checking about the trailers with maximum about 1000 euros. And I was checking once every three days or something like that, close by area. And I was saying to my dad in, in the Kottake that I don't want to hurry with the, getting the trailer. But he did go and get that from the dealership. That is 98 model of the Solifer's uh, 470 Gold here. So it has a lot of things what we need to do. And it was, I don't know, my dad didn't say what was the price, and but it was so expensive. I did check that those are going for about 5,000 euros online right now. Who said once the 98, 99 models? I'm checking like 1,000 euro trailers because, of course, if it's holding the water and it, we can sleep inside, that is basically enough for me. Because if you think right, like me, if we are changing or getting the batteries, big battery bank, then we are using the solar chargers, solar panels, uh, all the wiring, fuse boxes, all the electric stuff, and then the gas bottle, everything. It's, it's, it's so fast, it's 1000 or 1500 or 2000 euros for all the accessories and items what you need to get in to the camper trailer. So, I don't know. I was, I was saying in the contact that it's my plan to get like old empty camper trailer or something like that. And then I can just put like huge solar panels top of the roof and everything and have like, like something like 400, 500 watts of the solar and a lot of like solar power going to the big battery bank because it's costing money like that right now. My dad did want to, he didn't want to check the online daily because there was no good trailer for him. I, I, I don't know, I, we are a little bit in different sections what we are looking for. But it's, it's on the yard, I don't know what the hell I'm doing with that or what we are doing with that. We need to get gas bottle, there is no fuse box inside. Uh, the wiring needs to be redoned. It's, it's horrible right now, so it's costing money, a lot of money. This is the inside. This is from the first couple who did own this and we have the windows open. So that is the TV stand, pretty useless these days. But you cannot want that TV here, there is the old radio. I'm not sure do we keep that or we have the carry on radio with the batteries and it's the batteries are lasting like one year or so. Maybe get rid of the speakers and everything. That is the door and backside. I'm not sure but uh, it's it's this is not my trailer and this is expensive but if this is my trailer and cheap one I will get rid of this. Pretty horrible thing to have top of the seats and getting in that position it's pretty hard and pretty useless because here we have a lot of room and cabinets here and this is too big to remove because I don't know it's only me and my dad and dog what is here so we have like plenty of space under the seats and everything if you think like one below one mattress or the blanket, yeah, blanket, one below and blanket. There is plenty of room here, here, over there, and over there. The problem is right now there is the toilet, there is water things, it's, it's a waiting lot. There is the butter here. It's pretty horrible. It's the 60 amp horse battery.
and then we have the water here. I'm not happy with that. It's it's not something that I will use. I think we are getting like something a little bit bigger and like not that tall but bigger water thing here. I think this is the antenna. And then it's the horrible wiring things what is installed here. There is something. Oh, okay, yeah, that is horrible. Yeah, we need to change that. Something like automatic new full settings. Maybe we need to take the cover off and rewire. That is one thing to install the charger inside the camping trailer. Oh no, yeah. And then I'm installing like maybe here 12 volt socket, like the cigarette lighter sockets. So you can charge your phone, you can get the USB from the battery, what is basically charged with the solar. Because all these outlets are run by the ground power. So if we are going push parking, then there is no ground power. And we can use these to charge the phone or anything. So I was thinking maybe. Yeah, we cannot. One German guy did install the battery over here to get the weight over this side also. Basically, there is room for some battery. And then we can basically do this like. But there is no way to wire the wires down. That is pretty nice, but it's pretty useless for my liking. I don't like stuff like this. What is the reason to have like that? We have the table here if you need to cook something or something. You cannot really do anything here. You need to move that and then you are I don't know. Maybe it's because there is the outlets, I don't know. Coffee maker, maybe. Then you spill the coffee top of this, I don't know. But yeah, plenty of room. Now that is taken away and I'm going to clean this. And then use the white word glue here, so there cannot be any dirt or dust or anything between the, the panel and the, the trailer. It's interesting this thing, this goes inside and, the, and it's glued once more before. A little bit acetone and tra rack here. So the this is instantly back with the with the C glue, it's the polymer lima and tiivisti massa. This stands against the sea water, UV light and salt and everything like that. I also this it at the boat so. Both this waterproof, so with this thing we can get this waterproof. It's not the perfect job, I don't know what is this, it doesn't even come off with the acetone, so... Mm. And here, this inner or outer 
Where is the holes? This is the most important thing. You need to have a lot of glue here. And when you are pushing this, then it's coming out. It's white, so it doesn't really matter that much. And I can let it dry one day and tomorrow I can cut it. All the excess glue away. Now it's coming over and there's salty glue everywhere. I'm not that happy with these screws because they are not like tightening all the way. It's it's pretty thin aluminium. What is the outside or outer shell? Mm. But now I'm just thinking like pushing like this and going over. The top side and the sides are basically most important. There is, I can see some glue, so there is glue at the bottom piece. Not the best job, but you cannot use the acetone with the RV. I did clean this area with the acetone and there is no paint. It's, you can see the aluminium through that. That is crazy. Maybe we need to paint the whole damn trailer sometimes. Like next winter or something. It's crazy that you cannot use the acetone to clean that. It's taking the all the one wipe and it's all the paint is gone. And that is pain in the ass to get rid of these sti stickers both side. So yeah, it's not the best paint job or glue job. You can see the paint fading away from all the others where what I did clean. But it's better than nothing. It's aluminium, so it's not rust, getting rust or anything. There's a lot of dirt everywhere. I did order the new these plastic pieces or the rubber what is going inside. So silver grey. That supposed to be red I think so I don't know I think the silver and the grey or silver or grey I think it's grey so it fits a little bit better I did, and I did already uh, or the new uh, screws under the rubber here and that is A2, so it's roster. So it's not rusting, it's it's not the uh, electric zinc, so it's not affecting too much the aluminium. That is already fixed by the shop. The whole damn rear is done done once or already so then I need to pull the I'm going to do that like I'm pulling one list away so if I pull this away then I do all the glue stuff under the this list here and then I'm reinstalling the list with the new screws and Installing the new rubber top of that or middle of the aluminium list. Uh, that we are going to be painting black, then there is one list going under the or this. That is something what we need to be really careful. That is done by the shop. That is not looking good. And that is the putul. I don't know why the hell the RV. Everyone is using the putul with the RV. And when it's like hard, that then you need to replace that. Why you don't use something like the port glue, what is basically lasting at least five to ten years?
because this can happen. That is rust and that is for the light switch and that is for the <laughs> faucet. Oh god. There is a lot of th things like these hanging all, all around the RV. Just <clears throat> use a soldering gun or use a like protected connectors or something that is not good. And the staplers are pretty hard installed here, so it's it's basically damage the wire here, and it's already giving the rust to the wire. I also see some dirt or oxidation over there on the wires, so it can be that we need to pull this whole damn panel away because there is some secrets behind it that, and I don't know who the hell that that is coming away, but. There is a lot of wires going and everything is stapled. Maybe we are going to be working on the on the trailer during the weekend with my dad. Maybe. The solar panels are here. I don't know, do we want to have like some glue or something? Like small drop, like wood glue or something. So these are not just like falling down all the time. <laughs> 